Hi everybody. Today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm going to be making some taquitos dorados de papa con carne molida. Now many of you may know them as ground beef and potato flautas. Either way, they're the same thing. It's a very inexpensive dish to prepare. Kids love them and they are super delicious. And I'm going to show you how to make them step by step. Let's get started. So I've got two medium large gold potatoes. I'm going to go ahead and peel them and then I'm going to cut them into cubes so I can get them boiling for our filling. Now you can use any kind of potato that you want to use. I like to use the gold potatoes because they hold their shape pretty good. They're firm and they're not as starchy as let's say russet potatoes. But you can use any kind of potatoes that you want to use. Now I've got the last of my potatoes right here. As you can see, see the size? Now you can go ahead and leave the peel on them and then boil them, but I just think that cutting them into cubes like this and putting them to boil is a lot quicker. I've got my water boiling here in a saucepan. I'm going to go ahead and add some salt. Just like that. And I'm going to put my potatoes in. Now I'm going to let the water come up to a second boil. Once it comes up to a second boil, I'm going to lower the temperature down to a low simmer. And I'm going to let the potatoes cook for about 20 minutes or until you can poke them with a knife and they're soft. Now while my potatoes are cooking, I'm going to get started on my salsa. So I've got my comal ready and I've got my heat set on medium high. And I'm going to put my tomatoes right on here so they can get nice and charred. I've got a piece of yellow bell pepper three Roma tomatoes, a piece about a fourth of a small onion, three serrano peppers, and one jalapeno. Now you can use more jalapenos and serrano peppers or you can use less. And I'm just gonna let them get nice and charred from the bottom and I'm slowly gonna be moving them around until they're all nice and charred. Now as you can see, everything is ready nice and charred. I'm going to go ahead and remove everything and take it over to the blender. I have removed the core from my tomatoes, as you can see. I don't like to leave those on, so I remove them. I'm going to put in my tomatoes, my onion, my yellow bell pepper, my serrano peppers, and my jalapeno. And I have three garlic cloves. Let me put those in there and I'm going to blend it really good. So as you can see, it's not super smooth. It still has a little bit of texture. That's exactly what I want because I don't want it really smooth. I like to see some texture in there. I'm going to add some salt. Like that. I've got a fourth of a teaspoon of oregano. I'm going to put it in there. And I've got a small bunch of cilantro gonna break it up and put it in there just like that. Now I'm only gonna pulse it about four or five times because I want to be able to see the chunks and I like to see the cilantro in there. Just like that. And this is perfect. Now I'm ready to take this to the stove. So I've got my heat set on medium low. I'm going to go ahead and add about a tablespoon of oil into my saucepan and I'm going to put in my salsa. You want to get every drop just like that. Now I'm going to let it simmer until I'm ready to use it. So my potatoes are ready. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in this pan so that they can cool. I want to have the potatoes totally cool. So I'm going to start out by preparing my ground beef filling. But before I add my ground beef, I'm going to saute my onions. I'm going to add about one tablespoon of oil and I'm going to add my onions. Now I'm going to move them around and saute them until they're a little translucent. 
So now that my onions are slightly translucent, as you can see, I'm gonna go ahead and add my garlic. Now you don't wanna leave your garlic in here more than about a minute because you don't wanna burn it. So I'm just gonna bring it in together like this with the onions so that it can release its flavor and with the onions. So it's been one minute. Now I'm gonna add my tomatoes. And I'm gonna bring everything in together like this until my tomatoes get a little mushy. So as you can see, my tomatoes are nice and mushy. Now I'm gonna add my ground beef. I have one pound of very lean ground beef. I've got half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, and I'm gonna add some salt. You can use as much salt as you want. Now I'm gonna bring it all in together until my ground beef is nice and brown. Now my ground beef is ready. It has lost all its pink color. You wanna make sure that if you see a little bit of liquid down at the bottom that you remove it because you don't want a very watery filling. But because I'm using very lean ground beef, it's just perfect as you can see. So now I'm ready to add the next ingredients. So this is the bowl that I'm gonna be using. Now I'm gonna add my potatoes. They're nice and cool, which is exactly what we wanted. And I also have some grated Oaxaca cheese right here. I'm gonna add some of this. I just love the Oaxaca cheese in here. And with my bean masher, I'm gonna go ahead and mash everything together. Now, as you can see, it's really firm, but that's the way it's supposed to be because you wanna make sure that it stays inside your taquito really, really well. I'm gonna taste this. Mmm, it's delicious. I'm gonna add a little salt. This would be a good time for you to adjust it. Let's see. Mmm, it is delicious. Now that I have my meat filling ready, I'm gonna get my tortillas ready so we can start rolling our taquitos. Now what I do is, I get my tortillas and I wrap them in some wet paper towels, but I squeeze out all the water. Then I put them into the microwave for just a few seconds and then they're super soft. Now you can use any kind of tortillas that you want. These are pretty good and these are mission tortillas, but you can use whichever ones you like. I'm gonna get one corn tortilla, see how nice and soft it is? And I'm gonna put some filling in the center like this. Now I like to get them a little fat and make it worth it. You know, you don't want real skinny little taquitos with hardly any filling. Just like that. And then I'm gonna roll it up. See? And then I'm gonna set it right here on my plate and do another one. Then roll it up. Just like that. And I'm gonna continue on with the process until I get them all done. Now I have a little bit of leftover filling I'm gonna save it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna make some chimichangas with it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a link up here to my chimichangas so you can look at that. They are absolutely delicious. When you have filling left over, there's other things you can do with it, okay? So let's go to the stove. So I've got my heat set on medium and I've got one and a half cups of canola oil. Now I'm gonna put my taquitos in one at a time. Now you wanna keep this little seam part down. like that. So it's been about four minutes. Now I'm gonna flip them over. Just like that. 
and I'm going to let them sit there for another three or four minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put them in here facing up so that any remaining oil can drain out. Now I'm going to turn off my heat because my taquitos are all ready. And here they are. Now we can put our plate together. I'm gonna put your salsa down here in the bottom like this. I've got my crema. Now I have my queso fresco. Put some on top like that so it can stick to the crema. Mm -hmm. Now I have my lettuce. Put some just right here like this. Some fresh tomatoes from my garden. Just like that. Some delicious guacamole. See? You can spoon some salsa right on top like that. Mmm. And this salsa is out of this world. Look at that. Mm-hmm. A little bit of the guacamole. Get it all up there. Mm. So these are my taquitos de carne molida and papa. If you like my video, give me a thumbs up. Share with your friends and send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.